to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I'm just here to inspire you to create and probably mostly sew things. <laughs> I'm assuming that most of my following is like people who also like to sew, um, but creativity in any way. Just in such a busy world where creativity is not always prioritized and it's easy just to go and buy clothes that we like. Um, yeah, I'm just here to encourage you to have fun with your wardrobe and, and to show you that um, sewing and making your own clothes doesn't have to be hard or um, full of, or, or, or expensive and there's no pressure to do it perfectly that um, you just gotta try. So today I'm showing you guys my thrifted fabric stash. So the first piece of fabric that I am the most excited for, that I've had for like two years or something and I've never done anything with it, is this um, piece of raw silk fabric. I found it at a thrift store and usually around here thrift stores have like a piece of paper wrapped around it and like tucked in and it has like how the size of the fabric and then like doesn't usually say what it consists of but obviously when somebody gave this at the thrift store there was a label on it or something because they wrote on it raw silk so of course I got it I mean yeah it looks like raw silk it has these little like um, hills in it I've washed it um, at least one time honestly like there was one time I think where my fabric must have been sitting out somewhere and and Bowie came in and had a nap on it <laughs> so so I have had to wash this piece at least one time. Um, it's pretty big. I just have never really known exactly what I want to do with it and it's so special to me. Like I really want to be sure before I just make something random out of it. Like I don't want to just use it just for the sake of using it. And then also just a note on like thrifting. I really love thrifting and it's really really tempting to just like go and buy every piece of fabric that I see thinking like oh this could be something this could be something but I'm trying really hard to not just like collect mounds of fabric that I'll never use but when I see something I get like I I but when I see something I start to imagine what could this piece of fabric be um, and that gets me really excited and usually if something if something just feels like real actual quality linen or like even like a quality like um, cotton like almost like vintage cottony feel like a tablecloth like those are the kinds of things I definitely pick up so the next thing that I found is so funny um, it's this it's like a kids bed sheet or something it's so cool actually it's got like these animals on it like it's got this cow and this like um, I don't even know what this is, this animal. It's so funny. There's like, uh, there's a kangaroo on it. That's definitely a kangaroo. But, and I, I just love it so much. Like, I don't know what I'll use it for, but the embroidery is like so beautiful. And it just like has that vintage look. The only thing that I don't really like about it is this bright blue edging. Like, I just am not really into that color. So I probably use it in something that, um, doesn't require as much fabric so I can just leave that part out or maybe I'll patch it onto something else. The next thing, I'm not going to show you guys everything because we would be here for a long long time but I'll show you the things that I'm like the most excited about. <laughs> so there are some things that are from my mama who's like my godmother and her is my godmother and um, and she got, got them for me as a gift. I'm so excited to use them. I've already used she got me some of these bed sheets, and I used one of them to make muslin for my pants in my last video. Um, but I'm really, like, I, I don't know, I've never really used bed sheets to make a garment, but I probably could make a really, really beautiful one out of these. I never really thought about it. There's so much fabric in these two um, bed sheets <laughs> that I could probably make like a beautiful skirt or like some sort of like a maxi dress or something, or I don't know. Definitely if you have ideas for any of these fabrics that I show you, I want to hear them in the comments because I don't know, my, I feel like my imagination is kind of limited, you know, I only really know a couple of things, or I only really know how to make a couple of things 
and she also got me this one which is the one I used for my muslin which is just such a nice like cold feeling cotton it's like that cold pillowcase feeling <laughs> so nice um, but she found me this it's like this gorgeous linen tablecloth um, and it's got this like blue embroidery and I've like I always wonder if there's like some sort of history behind that pattern or that type of stitch or like whatever that is like um, I've heard that certain countries maybe like European countries or maybe just anywhere in the world um, have certain styles of doing things like that like that if you if you see like a certain type of embroidery or something like that then it's like representative of a certain culture or something like that so if you have any idea please let me know and I'll be doing my research um, the next thing is I don't even remember where I got this but this piece of denim fabric um, it's just like this thick clearly 100% cotton piece of denim fabric the downside is that it's not really that big so I, I don't really know what I can make with it maybe a pair of shorts I love to actually have a pair of denim shorts I don't have any well I do have one pair but not like my jam. I also found this and I this is this the second one of one the second piece I know the second pillowcase of a set of two <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say um, <laughs> and they're like Ralph Lauren um, pillowcases I used one of them to make a tank top it's like a thinner denim and I, I don't think it has any stretch to it. it's probably just 100% cotton as well but I guess I could read the label yeah 100% cotton so yeah, that's a good one too. Um, okay, some more like, uh, I, it's always like household things like tablecloths and pillowcases and more tablecloths and bed sheets and things like that. Um, and this one was one I found just like about a week ago. And it's like, again, like just like this gorgeous linen material. Um, and it's got this embroidered picture of St. Paul's Church in Bedford, which I don't even know where that is, but now I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> like, I don't know where that is. It doesn't really mean anything to me, but it's gorgeous. And like, you know, one day, maybe I'll visit that place and I can wear this garment that I made out of, <laughs> that's originally from that place. And it's obviously like, it's obviously old because like people just don't make this kind of stuff anymore, I feel like, but maybe they do in Europe, I don't know. It just feels like real, like crisp, wrinkly crinkly linen and that's like that's exactly what I'm always looking for when I go thrift shopping I feel like it makes the best garments and um, that just last forever and look better with every wash so next I have some knit fabric so I got this piece of um, like stretch velvet and I'm not totally sure what to make with it at first I thought I'll just make scrunchies wait it's really not that stretchy oh yeah it is like it's a two-way stretch not like a four-way stretch um, but now I'm thinking like maybe I'll make like a top or something. I don't know, I really like that um, style. Next thing is, yeah, this other like, um, I guess it's just like a jersey. Actually, I don't really know much about knit fabrics. I'm, I'm really actually kind of nervous to sew any anything out of these because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to knit fabric. So yeah. <laughs> um, then I have this big piece of like white, just like t-shirt stretchy fabric. I'm pretty sure it's cotton. Actually, I have no idea. It just feels like cotton, but maybe it's not. I just have a hard time telling what the fabric is when it's stretchy. I don't know, but it feels soft. The next thing I got, oh, I don't even know what this thing is. It's like a, it's like that, okay. Is anybody here like watch Seinfeld and just like drool over Kramer's shirts? Like they're like the the most like soft, silky looking like flowy fabric for like a men's t-shirt. And I mean they always have like cool little like designs on them, like little patterns or whatever. And like they always are just like flowy and nice. Every time I watch Seinfeld, I'm always like, oh my goodness, Kramer's shirt, I want it. Is anybody else like that where you just when you watch a show, you're just your eyes are on the fashion in the movie like you just can't keep your eyes off of 
especially in like really good like well done movies that have like beautiful fashion like like when I watch Star Wars I'm just like oh my goodness I would love to make that like it, it's so inspiring and Kramer's shirts are just one of those things that I'm like I just want to own them all. It looks like so silky and dreamy to wear. So this totally reminded me of one of Kramer's shirts. It's like that thin kind of like old button up t-shirt, like old, well, I want to say old lady t-shirt, but I feel like, I don't know. I, it, just, it just makes me think of my grandma, my granny when she would like be out in the garden, like the, the also the like nice shirts that she would wear, but it's a Kramer fabric. <laughs> and it has this like lace detail on the, on the edge and it goes all the way around. It's just like a big square. And I'm kind of thinking about making a pair of like loose shorts, but I feel like they wouldn't be appropriate to wear many places besides like the beach or my house, <laughs> but that's okay. And then I also have these two pillowcases that have this little um, like trim on them. That's like a little, I don't even know what you call that. If you know what, if you know what this is called at the bottom and there's little holes in it, comment below. Um, also, yeah, and like little flowers that go down. But it's like the same as almost like the same size as the Ralph Lauren pillowcase that I got. Um, but it's just this like white cotton material. And I just know I can make something cute with it. I don't know what I'm going to make. But yeah, if you have any ideas, put them in the comments. Next thing I have is, well, I have a few just like cotton pieces of fabric. This one has like little um tiny little flower details on it which I think are really really cute and I've never really been able to decide what um, what to make out of it so I don't know ideas give me your ideas I'd love to see like Pinterest screenshots of ideas and send them to me send them to me on Instagram too I'll link my Instagram down below and like a stripey one and this one I don't know I got this fabric and it said on the tag like from the thrift store it said like imperfection or like it has an imperfection and then I noticed that it's actually like two pieces of fabric with this weird like um, seam holding it together and it's like also quite stiff I need to wash it that's another thing too is like if you're buying fabric from the thrift store always wash it first so that you can see well first of all if it's gonna shrink you want it to shrink before you sew it and then also um, yeah just to see what the fabric's gonna behave like after like when it's in its wearable state like because you're gonna obviously wash your clothes so I also have this like um, like black cotton flannel flannelette flannel I don't know flannel <laughs> fabric um, and I think I might make like another box top but like a tank top out of it and I actually like the the embroidery on my lap on my pair of pants I kind of thought that those little flowery details looked like spider webs if I were to do them like in white I thought it'd be so cool to have like a black crop top out of this like a crop tank top with like spider web embroidered onto it like I just like that'd be really cute I don't know um and then I have like some corduroy I have another piece yeah I have this blue piece here which is like I, it's not very much but it's enough that I can make something with it. Like maybe I can make like a like a corduroy like skirt or something. Or like some sort of like a patchwork <gasps> like vest or something. Ooh, ooh, I'm loving the ideas right now. Oh my goodness. Okay. I also have these two pieces of corduroy. Like they're like a kind of wider corduroy. This one is like quite wide and this one's a little bit thinner. And um, I don't know what to make out of these shorts maybe. I don't know I really do need ideas so maybe a coat I could maybe make a coat like with both pieces that would maybe be kind of cool anyways I guess I am going to, going to show you all of them <laughs> or most of them I really really like this fabric I have like a denim uh, dress that I don't really like I don't really like how it does up in the back it has these weird buttons and I thought I'm just like cutting the top off and like somehow making it so it can be the top of like a, a dress and like have this be like a gathered um, like a gathered skirt with the dress and maybe have buttons all down the front. I, I actually have never successfully done a buttonhole on a, on a sewing machine. So I'm kind of nervous about that, but I might just do buttonholes by hand because you can do that. You can sew by hand. Um, <laughs> I also have this like round tablecloth that I've had forever and I've had it in like the thrift store pile a couple times like to give away because I'm just like, I've been holding onto it and I have no idea what to make, but then I'm like, oh, it's so cool. So um, yeah, I don't know. And then yeah, a piece of cotton fabric. I've made scrunchies out of this before. 
And then I have all these kind of remnants. So this fabric I got from um, from Etsy, from a shop I'll link down below. Um, it's a really, really beautiful green color. It's like this like bluey kind of ocean green. It's so gorgeous. Um, the only thing was that the it took like, I wanna say like at least a month, but I think it was more like two months for, the, for my order to get here. It came all the way from Lithuania, which is in Europe, which I guess that's where um, a lot of linen fabric comes from but it's so like it's so soft and it's like so real like it's such real linen so anyways I only have this tiny little square and I don't know I just feel like making like a bathing suit top out of it but I feel like linen like I don't know you don't make a bathing suit top out of linen but couldn't you like why not and then I have like these blue napkins this shirt from my mom I have a couple of like um already like ready to wear garments that I'm like like this like this white turtleneck that I'm like like I just want to do something with it to make it look kind of cool this one was my mom's uh, t-shirt and it was just like a like a big like plus size women's t-shirt and I took it in on the sides and then it was like it was okay but then you know I kind of ruined it I just I just don't want to give away the fabric because it's special to me I don't know like I just I wore it when I was a kid and like when I was a teenager and like I, I've always wanted to make it into something better but I never knew how so I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna sell that one for a little bit longer. Then I have this like um, alpaca wool felt. It's like really thick and I, I got this from the alpaca farm locally. And um, I don't know what to make out of it. Then I have this like romper from Licenza. These are not like thrifted things. This, this is like an old, like from my granny's house, like just like a, um, it's from Woodward's and it was made in Canada, I'm pretty sure. Nope, made in Hong Kong. <laughs> this is made in Canada though, for sure. Um, I checked the tag, that was the thing. But anyways, this is just like, it's, what is it? 50% um, lamb's wool, 40% angora, and then 10% uh, nylon. And I just like, like, I have a really hard time getting rid of wool things, so even if they're shrunken or whatever, because, well, first of all, I can give them to my kids one day when they grow into them, but also like, just to be able to use them to make garments and to make like baby bonnets mostly it's things for kids but like I even had thought about making like a wool face mask for like you know because it's COVID right now <laughs> anyways and then my sister-in-law gave me this gorgeous skirt which I have held on to because it's so beautiful and it's a little bit too small like it's got a very small waist and but it has this like gorgeous lining to it it's like Oh, I actually really, really like this fabric too. It, it doesn't have very much of it on the inside, but yeah. Anyways, this beautiful flowery uh, material that I'm sure I could use for something. <laughs> and then this is just like a summer like wrap thing, which I kind of thought of turning into a dress or something. And then I've just got, this is the leftover fabric from Blackbird Fabric. I think I was saying that these pieces I had pre-cut a long time ago to make bonnets for the kids, um, or for Gloria actually before Album was even born, but I never got around to it. So I think I'm going to use it though as a lining for a bonnet at some point. So maybe I'll use the wool at some point. <laughs> Emphasis on the some point. Um, I also have this green fabric. This is all that's left of it, but it was a huge tablecloth. And it was like one of the first things I bought from the thrift store. Like the first time, it was one of the first times I had found a tablecloth at the thrift store that I knew I wanted to sew into clothes. And it's like this gorgeous, like, just like Kelly green, or I don't know what quite you would, what you would quite call this, but it's like grass green. Like it's like the greenest color. <laughs> and it's clearly like, totally linen and I've made a few scrunchies out of it I'm kind of sad that I never made actual clothes for myself out of it I made a shirt for my friend but I remember it was kind of rushed it was for her, her, her daughter's birthday party and like I kind of rushed it and it was not perfect so Taryn if you're watching feel free to just use that fabric or fix that shirt <laughs> make it look a little nicer <laughs> Um, I know she sews too, so, um, but I've made a lot of scrunchies. I, I, I've sold scrunchies. I used to sell my scrunchies, like, um, just basically through word of mouth. And now I sell them sometimes when I make them, um, at a local store. 
but um, all I have is this left of it, and I'm like, I don't know, it's making me sentimental. I'm like, this was my favorite piece of fabric, and I held onto it for so long before I actually cut into it and made something. Like, that's one of the hardest parts, I think. It's so paralyzing to have a really nice piece of material and you like don't want to cut into it because you don't know if it's going to work out and you're like, I don't want to waste this fabric by making a mistake. That's why it's important to make a muslin. But also, that's why it's also really nice to just buy material from the thrift store. So it's like, if I, if I mess it up, I only spent $4 on it or something, right? Um, this sleeve came off of this shirt. So, um, yeah, as you can see, this is like the little button. This is a shirt that I just like, I got it from a thrift store or maybe I consigned it, I can't remember. And I just cut it into like a crop and it was like a long sleeve and I cut the long sleeve off. And um, I just really like that it can button up all the way and I think it's a nice length now. Um, I like wearing high-waisted pants and high-waisted things so I feel like I don't, not really showing my midriff. <laughs> I don't really like showing my midriff on a regular basis, just, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've used this. I used this to make an outfit for a little doll that I made for Alvin for Christmas, which he sleeps with every day now in his nap. And I'm like, here's your bear. And he's like, babe. <laughs> so it's really cute. <laughs> this is like leftover material from my blue shirt that I made and that I showed in my box top video. Um, I just, I kept it. I, my intention is to make a scrunchie out of every piece of material that I have left of all the, um, garments that I make. So I have um, this, the purple one, I'm going to make a scrunchie out of it, and then the blue one, and I guess I could make a scrunchie out of this too if I piece it together, and then also this yellow material for my pants. And that's pretty much it. I have this little piece of fabric that um, I think my brother sewed that, or maybe I sewed it, um, to make a little bag or something. I can't remember if he did that or if I did it. Um, this is another one that I got in the package from Etsy from the shop in Lithuania and it's like this really gorgeous like waffly material. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope that inspires you when you go through shopping to like look in the fabric section or look in the like household linen section and that you kind of have a better idea of what you might be looking for to make the garments that you want to have. And um, yeah, I'll definitely show you guys what I end up making with these pieces when I do make something. I don't know if I'll film the whole process of all of them, maybe one or two. But yeah, thank you so much for being here with me. And um, please subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I plan to post every week. I'm not making promises yet because <laughs> while I know it's good for my channel, I also need to just... <laughs> um, I need to be gentle with myself and my expectations of myself because life is really intense right now just with COVID and having young kids and, you know, doing all sorts of side business kind of things. And it's like, ah, but I do plan on regularly posting because I also plan on regularly making things. So, and I want to share with you guys all about that. I'd love to make a video on how I make puppets and everything. So, um, yeah, click subscribe and click the bell button. Cause I think that somehow, I think that notifies you when I have a new video. Um, I always thought that subscribing to somebody notified you when they have a new video, but I think you should click the bell. Um, <laughs> and also comment below if you like my video or if you have any comments or suggestions or anything, or even suggestions, suggestions for things you'd like to see me make or whatever. And that's it. I hope you guys have an awesome week and I just giving you all a big virtual hug. Love you. Mm -hmm.